ImageViz 3D is a software package that's funded by the NIH, the National Institutes of Health. We've developed it as part of our center work, and our center is the Center for Integrative Biomedical Computing. This particular package, ImageViz 3D, does visualization, and it can do visualization of very large problems on clusters, supercomputers, all the way down to the iPad or even your, your smartphone. The project's focus is taking four high school interns and they're going to be using our custom software, ImageViz 3D. It's a volumetric rendering application which we use primarily for medical purposes, but we're going to be having the students look at data sets which they're interested in. Ski Institute is about 200 people, most of them uh, graduate students working on their PhDs or master's degree, about 100 students, and then faculty and staff. And our specialties are research in scientific visualization, information visualization, computing, and then image processing, image analysis. My data set is a cardiac MRI of a heart, and so it uses uh, the data from an MRI of a normal heart. I've learned a lot, all of this work that can go into making a simple looking image. It seems like a simple picture, but there, it was five, six weeks of work to get it to look like that. So they're starting off on the desktop version, and they're getting all their volumetric data, and the volumetric data is just essentially a big three-dimensional volume, or what we call scalar filled. And they're going to take this data, load it into ImageViz 3D, play around with what we call the transfer function, which is essentially to make it look good, and then load that data onto the iPad and give a presentation for their class. CT scan of a shark head, and it was used to calculate the bite force of a shark. You get to like see things that you don't normally see, like for the shark. I was able to see all these rows of teeth that you can't see with a live shark because it's under the skin and you can't really see that unless you dissect the shark. And what I'm working on right now is I'm kind of analyzing a data set for a supernova remnant, kind of trying to dissect the parts of that. And then at the end of kind of analyzing the data, I'm presenting like what I've found to a class at school. One of the things that's really cool about like data I'm using is there's not a lot of like three-dimensional models for like astronomical data yet. It can be really helpful for like astronomers um, to look at like the data sets to see, kind of get a general idea of like what the three-dimensional geometry of the data set is. Kind of helps me extend, I guess, current research. I've never done anything remotely related to this. I've never worked with, like, I've never worked with software development. I've never worked with. 3D images, and it's it's not really something I would have gotten out of any high school class. The iPad's, of course, portable, so you can move it from one place to another. It has a lot more flexibility. Science education right now is going more towards integrating technology and engineering, but most high schools, we really have limited resources when it comes to actually exposing students to real-world applications how science and technology can work together. So that's uh, watching Zach's presentation, the first thing that I thought was, this is so great. I wish we could do this kind of thing in school. I wish more students could get these kinds of experiences to actually be able to see how they can use technology in the study of sciences. And the students who go through these internships come back to school so energized about science. You know, you can put anything in front of them and they're not intimidated by it. They've, they've seen how real science works and um, their confidence level just goes through the roof when it comes to all of their classes. They, they really have no experience to tell them what else is out there. This really shows them things that they can do with science if they pursue it beyond high school. 
So we started this program with the high school students to show that science can be a lot of fun, right? This isn't based on lectures and testing or lecture learning or didactic learning. What we wanted to do was give the kids a piece of really advanced science, ImageViz 3D, and ask them to explore different data sets with that. Learn about the data, but also learn about the science underneath the, the visualization software. And this is high school kids working with software and data sets that have been created by full PhD scientists. So we're really trying to smear the boundary of how you can learn what advanced scientists are doing and get excited about science by playing at the same game we get to play with once we've been out of class.